Hi friends, a lot of people are often confused between different terms like mutual funds, index funds and ETFs. So what are these terms? What is the difference? And what should you be doing? Well, I can answer the last question first. If you have a good certified financial planner, probably you wouldn't be asking the last question. But what are these terms? It's pretty simple. First, let's understand what is an index and an index fund. See, once I've logged into my Dhan app over here, you will notice something called Bank Nifty over here. Similarly, you will also see Nifty 50. You may see Nifty mid cap index. You may see Nifty small cap index. You may see the BSE Sensex. All of these are different indexes. So these indices, as they are called, they are nothing but a group of different instrument or different stocks picked based on certain criteria. For example, the top 50 stocks listed on NSE become Nifty 50. Similarly, certain top banks become Bank Nifty. Now, an index may have several stocks or instruments listed in it. To understand weightages inside a index, think of index as a thali. The thali has different companies inside it and different components or different companies within this thali have different share. For example, big companies like Reliance or TCS may have a larger share of the index or the thali in this case because their market cap is higher and their weightage as a result within this index is higher. So if these larger companies move up or down, they will move the price of the entire index in proportion. Now you can't directly go and buy an index. You need an instrument to buy the index. For example, an index mutual fund is a type of mutual fund that follows an index and rebalances its portfolio to match a given index. And we have in the past talked about selecting and buying a index mutual fund. Now, similarly, there is also a concept called ETF. So you can buy an index also as an ETF. And that brings us to the comparison between ETF and mutual funds. But index, simply put, is a concept which puts a group of stocks together. ETF means exchange traded fund, whereas mutual fund means a mutual fund or its full form is a mutual fund. Mutual fund is an instrument that an asset management company issues and they have a research team which usually researches and creates this mutual fund and they have a certain charge known as the expense ratio which they charge for providing this portfolio. You give money to the mutual fund and take the money from the mutual fund. So you basically subscribe and buy units in the mutual fund and you sell units uh, to the mutual fund itself and mutual fund gives you the cash. In case of an exchange traded fund, this fund trades on the stock market like any other instrument and there are normal buyers and sellers like us who trade between ourselves, which means that the underlying instrument or index may be of value X, but the trade may happen at a value Y between two people. There can be some amount of difference and it can be traded live on a market day. In case of a mutual fund, at the end of the day, the mutual fund publishes something called a net asset value, which is the NAV of the fund, which is the price at which you are buying or selling on a given day. However, ETF, you don't need to wait for the end of the day. Within the day, just like any other stock in the stock market during trading hours, you can trade this instrument with other people. Now, of course, it doesn't mean that the value or price of an ETF will always be wildly different from what the underlying instrument is because markets are efficient, market makers will come in, arbitrage people will come in, and the market will roughly follow the same price as that of the underlying instrument. Now, ETFs are used by a lot of traders to buy something like liquid bees where they park money temporarily and they can sell it at an instant and go and then buy any stock they want. Mutual fund, on the other hand, is 
something which you invest, you get your units after a couple of days. If you want to sell it again, it takes around two days to get your money in the bank. It is used as an investment and high frequency trading or trading during market hours to quickly react to market will not be something which mutual fund will allow you to do. ETFs may not always give you the same number of options that a mutual fund can. If you look at this Dhan app in front of me, if I go to the mutual fund section, you will notice that index funds is an option, liquid fund is an option, large fund is an option. And I can go and look at a lot of mutual funds right here. Uh, uh, ETF may not give same number or amount of depth because ETF is used for slightly different purpose by a lot of people. For example, if I go into ETFs tab over here, you will notice over here that a lot of indexes are available as an ETF because you can't buy an index directly. You can either buy it as an ETF or a mutual fund. You will find other uh, ETFs like a sovereign gold bonds. You will find liquid funds or liquid Bs. There are other instruments also which may be liquid. You will also buy, uh, find a few other ETFs which are sectoral as it shows over here. But in general, if you are a long term investor, mutual fund or a index fund via mutual fund may work well directly for you, work with your certified financial planner for it. An exchange traded fund gives you exposure where you get liquidity immediately by buying or selling something. But in a mutual fund, you go through the mutual fund house, you go through a little more structured process. It's Mutual fund is in a way a method to hire an investment team for yourself to make investment decisions. ETF is a way to buy something and park your money where you can move out of it pretty soon and you can do that on the exchange within, within trading hours.